Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and today I'm going to be doing a Greatest Hits City of uh, Tweak video here, so sit back and enjoy. Uh, there's going to be several tweaks in here, probably going to be at least 20, 25 of them, so it's going to be a little long, so uh, you might want to uh, get comfortable. First off, you can probably tell on my springboard here that... Uh, I've got some, I've got more icons in the dock than here than normally. This is called InfiniDock. It lets you uh, add up to, I think, 10 icons, but after you get over 6 or 7 anyway, guys, you can't really use them. Um, well, I keep typing the wrong one, InfiniDock you can select up to 10 now, like I said and it also lets you scroll your dock which is also nice uh, another one in that same family is called Infina Folders and what it does if you have all your icons in folders like all the games in one folder and all your social media in another folder this takes the 12 limit that Apple puts on off and you can put as many as you want in Infinity folders and InfiniDoc I think is 99 cents, Infinity folders is $1.99 and Infinity board which lets you scroll vertically that I don't have installed at the moment it's $1.99 also so those are the three that you might want to check out right off the bat another one is called package backup what package backup does it lets you save and restore if needed all of your city of tweaks and it also can be set to do a scheduled backup weekly daily monthly and then you can upload that backup to Dropbox should you need to restore you can also uh, save that up that uh, backup to your uh, contacts in your phone if you need to restore or something you'll always have that um, I think the package backup is six ninety nine. Uh, it's either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine one. another one that you're going to have to have if you're going to jailbreak a whole lot is called iFile iFile lets you SSH into your phone without needing a computer and right here's what it looks like and this is not for somebody that don't know what they're doing so if you're just beginning to start jailbreaking don't just download iFile and go to deleting and moving and doing all this stuff if you don't know what you're doing you'll screw your phone up royally I mean royally so make sure you're following the correct directions and instructions step by step if you're yeah. doing and I file I think if it's not gone up is four dollars alright moving right along uh, since iOS 5 has come out there's been a lot of tweaks that pertain mainly just to iOS 5 and speaking of iOS 5 Siri you know was just brought out also and with the new jailbreak there's been a whole lot of show you you can do that and the first one is called assistant extensions and what it does is it is it adds commands to the to Siri to be able to uh, control brightness let's see if I can get it to do it here yes change brightness to 70 percent okay here you go all right you can see that she did misunderstand me yes change screen brightness to 60 percent I found this for you and it's where I'm probably so far away and I do speak hick so don't forget that I am a hillbilly uh, but anyway that adds some of that to it and you can also tweet with one called Siri toggles yes tweet hello send tweet hello 
All right, and you can see right there that I've been tweeting already today doing a test, and it won't let me do that because it says it's a duplicate. But those are called uh, Siri toggles and assistant extensions for Siri. That's just some of the new things that they've come out with since uh, iOS 5 jailbreak was released. Um, also, you can see on my screen right here, I just got a notification, and mine looked like a rainbow. That's called Color Banner, and it's 99 cents. I think it's in the Big Boss repo if you want to check it out. That's an awesome way to tweak your notification. And since we're speaking of notification screens, you can see mine right here looks a little bit different probably than yours might. And also, you can delete these by swiping left or swiping right. That's called Lorem, L-O-R-E-M. I think it's what it is. It's either Lorem or v vexilum v e x i l l u m i'm doing so many tweets i'm getting confused here so bear with me guys to delete it and if i hit delete it would delete that but i don't want to delete it so i'm just gonna turn it off but i was just showing you and another old school like is sb settings you definitely want to check this out it's a cool way and an easy way to turn on and off bluetooth um turn on and off hands free which is something a, a Siri tweak and you can turn on and off your location uh, Wi-Fi you can respring power off reboot guys and there's bucos of toggles that you can download from Cydia from anything from control your iPod anything you want to put in there all right um, I was going to tell you about this one here called ProTube. This is an awesome thing, uh, application. If you like YouTube, you definitely want to check this out. It just makes using YouTube on the mobile device on your iPhone much, much simpler. And you got a download manager right there. If you want to download a video directly to your iPhone, you can do that very simple. ProTube, it's $1.49. Um, Speed Intensifier is another awesome tweak. It's free, actually, and I think it's in the Big Boss repo. What it does is it lets you open your applications up much faster, and you can set it on a scale. Speed Intensifier, and you can see I'm on the fastest one down here at the bottom. Up here at the top, slowest down here at the bottom. And what it does, you can see when I tap on uh, an application or any anything, let's say, see how quick it opens that up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it opens it much faster. It don't really add speed to your phone. It just makes it appear that it does. But it does. But once you get used to having it and it's not there, you're gonna be like, God, is that ever gonna open? So it is something you definitely want to check out. Another awesome tweak is one called Zephyr. And what Zephyr does, say you're in Cydia and you want to go back to the application that you just had open. Well, instead of having to close this, close out Cydia and then go back and open up the last one, you can simply swipe to the left. And the last application we had open was YouTube. And simply by doing that, you can just scroll right back into YouTube, see? And you can scroll back this way, takes you back to the previous. Um, that's called Zephyr. It hits two ninety nine. I think it's in Big Boss or Mod My I One. And another one that I use a lot is called Flotation. And when you scroll in your notification, when you pull down for your notification to come in, you can see that dimmed. Watch that dim. See it dim? And as you pull down it sort of lets it scroll down as you scroll and you can set it it does have a few settings that you can change and this is under flotation you enable it and you can change its behavior right here on the scale and let's turn it all the way up and see what that does Okay, all right. Another city of tweak. Since we're talking about city, I should have told you about this before. Uh, it's called custom back, custom Siri background. 
I'm gonna make sure I'm telling you that right. Anyway, what it does, custom Siri background right here, you can actually choose. You can take a picture with your camera, or you can actually choose right from a library to have uh, a p certain picture as your back ground in Siri and you see I just chose that cartoon of me that I had drawn the other day and let's look at it yes tweet hello send tweet hello and you can see right there that that is uh, the background has been changed in my uh, city and there's actually another free one called uh, something mic sliders and something you can actually change the color of your microphone and everything if you want to check it out I've, I've got that posted on my website but I forgot to include it on this but I should have um, another one that I like is called iReal SMS and what it is is it's just a different form of the message and you can see right here it's got several settings and it's even got uh, if you want to turn on the blacklist if somebody keeps texting you and you don't want them to text you you know I know I get some of those uh, they're not telemarketers I guess they're messy and another one that I like is called call bar call bar instead if you're playing a game instead of it popping up right in the center that you've got a phone call coming in you can put it to where it'll go across the top of the screen up here like above where the t status bar is and it's got, it's got all kinds of settings that you can adjust and right here it is and you can enable it, disable it, you can, uh, you can if you don't want it to appear on your lock screen you can turn that on and off if you don't want to, uh, the uh, phone call call bar to be on you can turn it on or off and you can even select if you want it to be if you want to swipe to answer or push buttons I prefer the buttons but if you want to just swipe your screen to answer phone calls or hang up calls you can do that and it, it's interlinked with Skype and some other things there you saw um, another city uh, uh, serious city tweak is called hands-free control and this does drain the battery a little bit but there are times where this could be extremely beneficial but I would not keep it on all the time hands-free and we do have to respring I think all right and while we're in here let me show you I've got this one set up. If when it hears this word S I R I, it will automatically start it. And if I say it right now, it will start. But you can set it if you want to say the word computer, half, Jarvis, phone, or if you want to set up a custom word and you want the custom word to be Dodo Bird. When you say the word Dodo Bird, it's going to open Siri. And what that means is let me show you right here. Siri. Yes. What's the weather outside? Uh, I'm not sure I mentioned in Telescreen X. If you like having all your notifications on your screen, you can have everything laid out right here and you can customize it any way you want to from the settings. And right there, I don't have a I haven't. So that's an awesome way to get your notification screen customized even more. And as you turn on and off things in your status bar up here, I think it's an awesome tweak, so I would definitely check it out. Clean stat you completely. And guys, that is my greatest hits list. I hope you enjoyed it. It's about 20 minutes long. I know that's a whole lot of bull to have to listen to, especially coming from a hillbilly. But I want to invite you over to iPhoneCaptain.com. And don't forget to please, please, please subscribe. Hit that button right up there at the top. And don't forget also, guys, leave that comment down there in the bottom. And also, guys, don't forget subscribe and keep coming back